So vapor trap, soothing guitars, maxed out in the reverb department, chimes and jingles sounding like you threw a fluffy pillow at a gigantic gem-infused chandelier. Listening to that wonderful sound as each crystal would be knocked into the other. The album also wraps up with four bonus tracks, each these really fun and hyperactive chop jobs with samples bouncing all over the place. Overall, a complete contradiction from the lethargic moods heard previously on Phantom Psalms. Happy anniversary and its generally warm sample flips and extremely short runtime confuse us from everything we have just heard. Its sporadic and sudden change in tone from the last three albums is just bizarre. What exactly is going on with Beyond? This album feels spastic, nostalgic, dreamy, and surreal. It is all over the place, as if the artist's mind was going a million miles an hour when creating it. The lo-fi beats mixed with the 8-bit and acoustic guitar highlight is just part of the sampling and experimentation this album explores. Here was the poem he got and sent over with this release. What a happy anniversary, what a joyous span of time, what a wonderful evening with your hand. You tell me everything that you want to say, you let it all out, you put it all on display. I can't say a word, my mind goes blank. I want to shed tears, say words, give thanks. So happy anniversary from me to you, you'll never understand, they never do. And here was the Chinese text begotten sent with this release. Music videos for the tracks Quartz and Diamond were given for this album. Quartz would feature the reverse footage of gradually burning birthday candles. Instead of everything melting away, we see these candles rise from the grave. Diamond, an extremely short track, it's like 45 seconds long or something, presents sped up footage of a trick-or-treater during a Halloween. So before we keep going, just to give you more of the story behind Dennis, the label owner of Geometric Lullaby, he also spends a lot of his time performing in a band. So around 2018, the band would be going on a East Coast tour of the USA. And knowing that, Dennis realized that their route would <coughs> inevitably lead them right past the address for the mental institution mentioned in the mysterious envelope. But unfortunately, misfortune would strike again. A hurricane would hit at the exact time they were supposed to drive south through Maryland, Virginia, and the Carolinas. Next up on the tour would have been Georgia, the state in which the mental asylum existed. And to make matters even worse, their engine died. Dennis notes it would have costed them several thousands of dollars to fix, and so instead of finally getting to the bottom of the surreal letter from our favorite little mysterious friend begotten, they hightailed it back home to Minneapolis. However, it was around this time that Dennis would finally receive an email from begotten. It was short and it was simple, but to actually get some communication after such a long silence felt amazing to Dennis. This is what it said. Thank you, I am still alive. I am okay for now. Just those simple lines gave Dennis so much joy. He was glad that Begotten was happy with how Geometric Lullaby was handling their releases. Dennis was nearly brought to tears. At this point in our story, it is the autumn of 2018. Dennis was yet to respond back to the email. The email was sort of final sounding, but of course, Dennis still had so many questions. At this time, Dennis wanted to take the next couple of weeks to figure out exactly what he wanted to respond with and how he wanted to say it. He was ready to continue keeping everyone updated on the situation, but thought it would be best to finally drop the fourth Begotten album in that October of 2018. Happy anniversary seemed to be the true calm before the storm in the saga of events between Dennis and Begotten. It was as if the melancholy musical style from the album replicated the seemingly calm section of the timeline the two virtual pen pals found themselves in at this very moment. And while Dennis, yes, was relieved to finally hear back from Begotten, everything was still so odd. Any question Dennis had up until this point was still unanswered. Nothing was solidified, nothing declared, nor figured out. Dennis took this time to focus on the label, prepare that fourth Begotten release, and just take the time he needed to figure out his next move with the unknown producer. In part three of this series, we will finally be wrapping everything up with Begotten. Will Dennis figure out the truth behind the mystery? 
was it all a hoax or is it something truly to be worried about? I can promise you the oddities don't end here and I cannot wait to share with you how everything concludes. Until then, I think it's time we put a little virtual bookmark in our story here. The insane tale of the guy is easily one of my favorite musical mysteries of all time. Oh, they, I didn't know they were going to pick it up today. I don't have a label. Sean was supposed to put me out a label. Legends you want me to explore in a future video. I am always on the hunt yeah, yeah, for material right to discover. Right oh, will you go grab that thing off the th that stupid bamboo thing off the table? <clears throat> it's right this on the table. If you are interested, it's literally in on the, the it's to the right, it's, I mean, yeah, over to the right, it's in its little plastic envelope. Yeah, just, that's it. Yeah, they said I didn't even need to put it in a package. We'll soon be holding our second Club Chennington Selects. It's a music compilation featuring tracks from the very members of the club. So if you're interested in getting in on that, come on down and join today. To Does it need a package? Selects, we did a live oh, just put it in one of those Amazon red envelopes that are down by the two rolly carts. Thoughts on each one after they finished. It was a 